right, so. Wow, I've been doing a lot of thinking. Um, writing and working on music. I had a conversation yesterday with my uncle just discussing why I haven't put out any new music for six years. It's literally been six years since I put out any new music. Um, hmm. I would have to say, to be honest, it's a lot of different things. It's fear. Um, yeah, not being, not being sure. I'm such a um, perfectionist. Like I have in my mind how I want things to be, how I want it to sound. And if I don't have all the elements to make it what I hear in my mind, then I'll wait and I'll keep gathering information until I can get it to what I really want it to be. What's up, Deuce? Um, so, yeah. All right. That's better. I can't keep it up. Okay, that's better. But yeah, so basically, I mean, I've just been thinking about... Um, you know, you know, what are the what are the reasons that I haven't, you know, really put out any new music and, you know, what inspires me? What's keeping me in, inspired? Because it's like I always come back to it. I always keep writing. So obviously it's something that's in me. It will never change. That's just how it is. Um, and I want to get it out like all of this in me, like I want to get it out. I definitely need beats. I need a lot of beats. I want different beats too. Like I don't want my music to sound like like Cleveland. We got a sound and I love it. If you go anywhere and you from Cleveland and they hear you talk or they hear your music, they know you from Cleveland. Um but I just I need something different. I'm looking for a a, a different sound. Like I have it in my head. I I don't know. But I definitely need beats. If you have beats, send me some beats. Like, let's work. Seriously. I want to work with all... I want to work with the most talented people. I just want to collab, collab, collab. Um, but this project I'm working on, like, I'm officially going to put out an album. I'm officially working on music, working on new music. It, it really is happening. Um, I'm sitting down. I'm writing every single day. That's what I'm doing. And... Um, let me see. Tony did this one. Thank you, Tony. Send them as soon as I jump off the live. I'm gonna check everything out, and um, and and see see what we can what we can work with and start right into it. Thank you. Yeah, please send me some music. Send me some beats. I need a band. I want a band. I want a guitar player, a drummer, uh, someone who can play the saxophone. Basically, I want this project to be like a collaboration of like different talents from Cleveland. I think I want to be the only artist rapping on it, but I want to work with, I want to collab with singers. I want comedians on this album, on this project. Um, I just want to collab with different people. And, um, you know, I'm just going to tell my story. I'm going to talk about why I haven't put out music in six years. What stopped me? I've been listening to like all my old music and my uncle used to always tell me, he like, why do you, you sound like you always dogging men or you putting men down and this and the other. I'm like, put men down. I don't dog men in my music at all. Um, but then I started looking back to it and this is stuff I put out seven years ago and I'm like, okay, you know, I guess I am saying, saying some stuff, but I'm like far removed, far past, you know that point in my life and I just want my 
my new music to reflect where I am now, like the space I'm in now. And I wanted to just um, just be authentic to me. So, yeah, that's what I'm working on. That's what I'm going to do. I'm working on this album. And I'm going to say it will be ready by the end of this year. I'm definitely going to throw October out there. And it'll be ready by the end of this year for sure. So I'm putting that out there. Um, yeah, and that's that. Besides the album, I'm also working on a podcast. Um, I'm excited about the podcast. So basically the podcast will be my journey. Oh, you're a drummer as well. Okay. Yeah, we have to work. Tony, we got to work for sure. So I'm looking forward. Um, this podcast is, is going to be a spinoff of the Bria Jorday uh, radio show combined with the Queen of Cleveland talk show. And um, so, yeah, it's going to be the Queen of Cleveland podcast. And basically, I just want to like break that down a little bit. What I mean when I say like the Queen of Cleveland. So. I say this all the time. I tell this story all the time. Um, my mentor and I, Deuce, um, you know, for the past three years now, it's actually three years, um, have been working on different ideas uh, for a talk show. And um, we finally put it together and came out with the Queen of Cleveland. And we were thinking about a name, like, what is this going to be, you know, called? Um, and just bouncing ideas back and forth. And Deuce was like, call it the Queen of Cleveland. Now, first he said, call it the Princess of Cleveland. I said, uh, I'm, I'm not a princess. So we like, well, the Queen of Cleveland. So that's how we got the name. But truthfully, everyone is a queen. Everyone is a king in their own right. So it's not like I'm just saying like, yeah, just no. We are kings and queens. And I'm sure... You know, there is someone out there that can relate to my story. There is a queen out there that can relate to my story. Um, a chick from Cleveland, you know, who is an artist who is trying to make a way. You know what I mean? Um, a college student. I go to community college. You know, I work a full time job. I have a family and I still have dreams and I have passion. So. Basically, the Queen of Cleveland podcast, you're going to follow my journey, you know, as I create my music and I put out my projects. Um, you know, I want, you know, people to simultaneously follow both of them. So listen to my music and also listen to the podcast so you can see how I'm getting here and how I'm making turning my dreams into a reality, because that's ex exactly what I'm doing. That's exactly what I am doing and what I'm going to do. And that's what it is. So um, I just hope it inspires people. That's truly what I want to do. Like, that's my ultimate goal. I want to I want to inspire people because so many people have inspired me. So I just want to um, leave something. What's up, pop star low? I just want to leave something, you know, behind when I'm no longer here on this planet. Um People can go back and listen to my music. People can go back and listen to my podcast and my shows and, and see where my mindset was. So that's my thought behind everything. I want to leave a legacy behind. Um, so that's what I'm doing. I will say this. Being on live by yourself, by myself, is so uncomfortable. It's weird because it's like you're not talking to anyone. You're not talking back. You're just talking. Like, that is really like an uncomfortable thing. I don't know how people do it constantly, like all the time. I think it's, I think it's good if you can do it and it's just like, but man, this is different for me. So I'll say that. So if anyone out there is listening and you're shy too, um, in a way, like I don't want to just say I'm just shy like that. But if it's like, if I'm not having a conversation with someone and I have to just talk, it's different. But I'm doing it just to continue to show like you, you know, 
just put your art out there. If you're someone that that is an artist and um, and you have something to say, and I don't care what your art is, if it's making music, if it's making beats, if it whatever it, the case may be, like don't be afraid to put yourself out there. Um, send send a request, Deuce. I'm trying to add you. Um, we're about to add Deuce in here. I had a great conversation with Deuce yesterday too, um, about you know something similar. Basically, just be confident in yourself. Um, be confident in in the person that 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 God created, and know that everything is literally within you. Like you don't have to look for anything outside of you. It's already all in you. So and you never know. You might say something that, you know, somebody really needs to hear or somebody really feel. So you got to put it out there. You got to put yourself out there. Hey, Destiny. Um, so for everybody checking in right now, I'm rambling. I'm going in. I'm talking to y'all about, you know, this new project, this new album I'm working on. Let's see. I'm about to add Deuce. Yeah, so I'm talking about this new project I'm working on, this album. Um, what's Bob, up, Deuce? What up? It's sunny over there. Yes. Wow. It's, it's kind of chilly right now, though. Yeah? It's. I mean, it ain't chilly, but er, I know it was supposed to be It's supposed to be 70, but it's 3 o'clock, so I don't know. It's, like, <laughs> it's probably like 63, somewhere around there. That's crazy. I think it's in like the 50s over here. Yeah. I didn't even check the weather uh, today, but I looked yesterday and it said it was supposed to be in the fifties, around fifty-eight. And sometimes the sun, the sun to go down and come right back up. Really? I've been in the house anyway, so it don't even matter what it feel like out there. I need to go outside. 